Are you looking to use deal-based workflows in HubSpot? Well, let's jump in today and talk about how that's gonna save you time and energy when managing your deals. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Deal-based workflows in HubSpot are something they released in 2018, and you could automate the things that happen based on a deal stage, but it was really just tied to the contacts. So most recently, there's, going, there's been a change where you can actually automate the tasks and behaviors and things that happen in a deal stage, and it happens right inside the HubSpot deals customization area in settings. So let's jump in and actually show you how to do that, and then put your imagination to work and how you want this to work for you. All right, so we're jumping into the HubSpot portal here, and I'm over here in settings, which you're gonna get there by clicking on the icon and deals. And if you happen to have sales um, starter or sales free, you're not gonna be able to see this area. You're gonna see automation tab here. Um, again, I'm in sales, I'm in deals. When I click on that, I see I'm configuring my uh, deal stages. So this is something that we did over in the video about how to customize your deal stages and get started with deals. Now, if you do have a sales pro or a sales enterprise license, you will see this automation tab and it will not have a lockbox next to it because you will have access to it. So basically what we can do here inside of HubSpot sales pro or sales enterprise is we can, can, we can create a workflow based on the specific deal stage and um, how we do that is um, you want to go ahead and set those deal stages the way that you have your sales workflow mapped out or your sales um, if this then that for your whole company so outside of HubSpot spend some time on a whiteboard jotting out what that sales journey looks like again set those deal stages here but then when I go in here and I've got those deal stages set so you'll see this column these columns here all match the columns that are over here in configure so if I go into here and say I want to create an automation or a workflow based on when a, a deal reaches this specific stage. So let's say when a deal reaches a proposal requested, I can go in here and create a specific workflow and they're going to recommend that I create a task. Now that's always, almost always going to be the recommended action in a workflow uh, related to these deal stages. But if I click on see more, I can see all of these different things that I can do inside of uh, the automation here. And this last one here that says create a ticket, that has a little lockbox on it because you have to have uh, I don't have this as I'm demoing this I don't have a, a high enough version of um, HubSpot service to be able to demo that for you but if you did have um, HubSpot service um, pro you could uh, demo this you know create a ticket here um, so basically again I'm on if in my company I have this uh, when a proposal uh, is requested in a deal stage I could say I wanted to create a task and that task might be create proposal and the due date might be immediately, or I could say one day from the task creation. So again, in this in this case, do some critical thinking on what are those things that have to happen from both a task standpoint. So do I need to have an internal meeting? Do I need to create a scoping document? What are the things that have to happen at this stage? And then I've got some notes I can add. I can add a priority. I can assign it to um, either the deal's existing owner, or I could assign it to a new person inside of, of HubSpot, and that's what that looks like. Now, you might choose to do things like if you have Slack connected, we have a different video where we show you how to connect Slack to HubSpot. Um, I could send a Slack notification out to my team and say, hey everybody, half celebration, it's not quite to the finish line yet, but this deal is now at the proposal stage. You know, just basically informing your whole team of, of what that, that is. Um, I could set a specific property value. So if we have things that are dependent inside of your contact record on a deal being at a certain stage, you can go ahead and map that here. So if you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and say let's let's send an internal SMS so I could send an SMS to a specific HubSpot user I'll send it to myself and say hey um, deal stage for and then if I can select a deal token I can say contact or deal name let's do that okay if I say deal stage for deal name is now at proposal and then if I save that 
So that is what this looks like. So if you go into your settings and if you happen to be working with other people on your HubSpot portal, you might see that other, um, other administrators inside of HubSpot have created um, automations. Again, these should be things that are agreed upon by your entire sales team and your organization. That way we don't have kind of one-offs going on uh, here and there and there's a more predictable flow for your sales process. So that's an, an awesome feature. I encourage you to jump in and check it out. And again, think about this on a whiteboard first before you jump in and map all these things because just because they're there doesn't mean that you absolutely need to use them or that they bring value. So that's how to create deal-based workflows inside of HubSpot. If you have more uh, comments or questions about this, drop a comment below on this video. And for more tips, tricks, and how-tos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We have a new video coming at you each week. We'll see you next time.